Okay, guys, should we get straight into it today? Let's get straight into it, shall we? So if you if you hover over the stream, you can see an extension. I did that last week. And it's got all the tasks that we're doing and working on. So you guys can see. So it gives you, you all an idea of what we'll, we're going to be doing. So character sheets. And if you've been following the game's progress, um, there's, a, there's characters in the game community members if you get 500 raindrops you can become a character in the game and we have 12 so far and we're gonna have 14 soon because we're making two new character sheets we've got two new characters coming up so we'll get loads over time we'll have we'll have a ton of peeps because we're still in the early days but max and akira and jelly dot how have you been how was your weekend hope it was good it's time for legion to awaken i know we're going to be looking at akira's character sheet very early on in the stream we're going to just have a little peek at kindles and then we're going to read akira's and we're going to get cracking on that and we might do it for the whole stream but we might just do it for half the stream we'll see how it goes but whatever we don't finish we'll do tomorrow so i'm thinking of one half of the stream for character sheets and then you know second half for in-game stuff like mapping or anything related to the game development right off we go okay guys so this is a kindle trash's character sheet she does have two forms i'll be showing you the other form soon so this is all done i i did this uh, yesterday yesterday evening um, filled it all in lot very detailed character I kind of really like that it's intriguing because this character is very Japanese inspired and Kindle does even create her own lore that is very kind of Japanese so that is awesome because the more you guys give me the more that it helps me and the more ideas that it that it kind of they get them that it gives me and that is always helpful so right that is done and i'll also right this is her skeleton form because she's got a skeleton form last stream we were working on this and it was really difficult because we struggled to get the skull to fit her the frame of her face but i've done it now I found a, a skull asset that really like worked well, I believe, and it's it's very similar to the shape of a face now. So there we go. It's the same as her face. The eyes are in the same position and everything. So it is much better than the one that we had last week anyway, which was like double the size of her face. Um, so that is her in skeleton form, and that's her with a little lantern and that's her there's a skeleton with the lantern i did change the color of her dress to red it was pink but i think the red like works well i think it fits the character so yay and i am gonna like dm kindled with this and ask if she's uh, if that is something she's happy with because i want to convert because she's not in the stream because she's at work um want to make sure she likes it so there we go that is basically done apart from that we'll we also have to put her avatar in the stream avatars as well so that when she comes into the stream her character will be walking across damn that great thank you akira i'm glad you think it's cool like she's uh, even got her, a kimono on which i'm super happy about because uh, that is obviously a very important detail on the character that kimono and um, it's nice to see that the assets were all there because sometimes you don't get the assets you want and you have to make the most of what you've got but we, we worked with Kindle's character hooray and I like her hair as well <laughs> okay guys right so should we look at Akira's character sheet let's get the google forms up you know what i actually have kind of already started this character in the character generator so we'll get that up soon but we're going to read through the sheet first 
Let's hide Photoshop and get it up. Jelly Dot's got all the cute emotes. Okay, so once we've done a key as character, we'll be caught up with the character sheets um, for now. I'm going to just have a little peek and see who's coming close to 500 raindrops in our, on our bot. I'm curious, so let's have a look. You guys can't see my see this, but I'll let you know. Okay, so our most recent ones were Silent Lost and Akira. Um, and Kung as well. Kung got the 500 raindrops last stream. So if she wants to fill in a character sheet, she totally can now. And other than that, I don't believe we've got anyone who's super close yet. So after this and potentially Kung's character, we might not have to have another character for a for a few weeks, maybe. But we'll see because you you might somebody might rack up those raindrops in no time. It's very possible. If, you, if you're good at lurking. Okay, guys, so. Let's have a read through this, shall we? Oh, nearly the top, top 200. And to be honest, Azrael, that is pretty impressive. Because you're not one, you, you're one of the newer people in the stream. And to get over 100 round drops already isn't bad at all. So, good job. I'm very, I'm always very intrigued to see what characters you guys want to be. Okay, so Akira is called Legion. Sound pretty bad, that's right. Human. But is he a human? Hmm. Gunslinger. And you've chosen Plague Doctor as your second, but you're totally going to be a gunslinger. Because nobody else has picked gunslinger. You'll be the first gunslinger in the party, so that's what you're going to be. We usually just have the second choice as a backup, just in case someone else has taken it before you. But nobody has, so you're going to be a gunslinger. And your goal is to belong somewhere. That's also my goal. So it's a good goal. It's, it's a goal that I think a lot of people would have. I just want to say something. If something isn't possible to do on my character, we can still tweak it. Well, we can talk about that today. It's pretty handy here, um, Akira. If he wasn't here or you, was bu you were busy, that's totally fine as well. Because all that I'd do is I'd do it myself and then I'd DM, DM it to you and see what you thought. Just like I'll be doing with Kindled. Um, but it's always handy that you're here because it, it makes the process a bit easier if, the, if there is any questions that I have or, you know, any preferences with your character or alterations we have to make. Um, thank you, Anonymous, for the follow. <laughs> well, it's apparently not Anonymous because in the chat it's come up as an, a name that's very kind of shocking. So maybe that's what it came up as anonymous because it's too it's too uh, it's too uh, X-rated for the stream. That's why I'm here. If something is wrong or something to change because of limitations, yeah. And that's the thing. Like with RPG Maker and the assets, and because I'm not committing myself to doing the artwork in this, I mean, at most I'll do edits. I'll do edits for whatever my ability is capable of doing and i've done that for a few people i i gave careless rex's character a hat um i gave swedish beards character a long beard um what else have i done like i kindled so i did the, the skeleton face for her but I'm, i kind of like took an already existing asset for that but i still had to make it work with her character so you know what i mean i can make some edits if necessary if there's nothing that's already existing in a, and I do it myself but we'll say if it's too complicated or way too difficult then yeah we might have to change things but we'll see we'll just see how far we can take this if there is any complications and hi Jirai how are you doing that sweet sweet X X how are you Jirai I hope you're having a good Monday we need some good dark ambient metal over here. <laughs> okay. So 
so I like that it's your goal is to belong somewhere I mean I've already had a little look for your character she and your character kind of reminds me a bit of my character just because my character's a vampire and yours is well yours is half demon they've kind of got that in common that they're not fully human so um this is interesting okay the goal for Legion is to protect the souls they collect from a cursed village. They're the weakest from the curses and also trying to belong somewhere. Okay, so this is interesting. Like Whatever you write here as text will go in your character sheet. I basically copy and paste it word for word, but I do change it to first person so it makes it sound like your character is actually saying it. Thank you for the bits, Richard. I'll call you Richard, okay? <laughs> Welcome to the stream and thank you for the bits. Weird as usual. You're feeling weird, Chiray? Weird, weird's all right. Weird is acceptable. I mean, I always like say it's good to be weird as long as it's the good kind of weird. I'm the good kind of weird. Oh, you'll understand what he is. Well, they. Oh, okay, they're they. Okay, so expand on this goal for me, Akira. I'm intrigued. The goal for Le Legion is to protect the souls they collect from a cursed village. What's that about then? And like I say, I really like it when you guys introduce a bit of lore with your characters because then it just gives more story ideas, basically. And I'm, I, I'm going to need those. I'm not going to... It's hard for one person to do that on their own. So when you guys come up with them for me, it's always really interesting. That's what they call me at work, so I answer to it. Awesome. I'll be calling you Richard then for sure. But how, how, how is your day going? You're having a good Monday. Monday's usually the least favourite day of people's week. But I'm streaming, so it's a good day. And you're calm, optimistic, honest, spontaneous, cautious, open-minded, reserved, and traditional. Awesome. We, we always, like, get... Ca all the characters are totally different to each other with their personalities. So they're going to be... They're going to be an interesting bunch. The name makes more sense now. <laughs> Last day of my vacation, so not sure if it is good or bad. Disp depends how you look at it. Oh, well, you better make the most of it then. I'm honoured that you're here on your, the last day of your vacation. Legion is 150 souls in the same body. Ooh. Okay, so, biggest flaw, a we talk manner instead of I. So, when they, does that mean, I, w I might have to like, confirm some things just so I know, I'm sure I understand but I'm, I'm assuming that that means that instead of referring themselves in first person as I they call themselves we which is really interesting it um, distinguishes them from m most people gives them a little is that I wonder if that's a flaw though I th I'd say that's a character trait or a quirk even but interesting so when we write your character sheet and we, you know how I say I write them all in first person, well, we'll have to say we instead of I for, for Legion then. A little knowledge hunger, but still controllable. Not social, anti-social. And light magic is your biggest fear. Kindle's biggest fear is holy magic. Interesting. What is your deepest, darkest secret if you have one? Being forced to being forced to kill the curse village to be able to save them instead of using a cure. I want to know more about this curse village, Akira. Um, I want to understand the law fully. I want to make sure I get it. If there's any, because it seems like there's a bit of. Um, law behind it maybe even some references so i'd like to know about those too with the whole with the whole 500 soul thingy majig um legion is half demon human who have 150 souls inside the same body weapons are revolvers and sniper rifles awesome gunslinger okay now this is the appearance bit and um this is what we usually focus on first we get the look of the character done 
and then we get all the text and information in the character sheet later. I'm writing the story about him. Ooh. Well, definitely let me know um, if you if you want to expand on on this uh, all this this information here because it's intriguing and I want to know more about it. Okay, so he's super pale. He has black long hair. He has sharp teeth, which is which is a demon, so it makes sense. He's not going to have a human mouth. And what is? I had a little look in RPG Maker in the generator, and they do have demon teeth, which is great. We've 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 got vampire teeth, but I, the de the demon teeth would be different to vampire teeth. So luckily, that is a thing in the generator. We can we can have um, sharp demon teeth for you. Um, skull paint on the face. Um, there was kind. Of, we do have face paint in the generator as well. There's loads of different types. Um, there was one with like black, like kind of very white paint look, and like a black around the eyes. And that was the closest that we could get to a sort of skull look, if that's what you mean by skull paint. Um, horns with a 90 degree angle on half of it and a red glow, glow on the end and there's horns as well there's demon horns because we've got we've got like beast stuff in the generator because we have beast races in the game um we have cats we have doggers we have dragons as you've seen and we we do have the demon horns too um by 90 degree angle on half of it does that mean um like half of it at the top is kind of broke is that what you mean or it's or not broke but bent because we might have to make an edit to that because i don't think the demon horns actually have um a 90 degree angle and, and also if we can have a red glide we'll have to add, add a bit of color to those horns as well um because we can only make them one color in the uh, generator my apologies for the hit and run, however, the yard is requesting my presence, so I will ever leave myself here, and if you're still on when I'm done mowing the lawn, I will return. Awesome, Richard. Well, thanks for hanging out, and I hope the garden stuff goes well, Mow the mowing the lawn. I'm going to confess I've never mowed the lawn in my life. I let my, I let other people do that. I'm too, I'm too small, that's my excuse. I can't even push a lawn mower. But have an awesome day, and maybe we'll talk later. Okay, so red eyes, awesome. We can definitely give you red eyes. Now, I looked at the reference image and it's cool, but you you don't want the hat, have I got that right? So you want the coat, a black coat, but no hat and no sheriff sign. Because this, this is the image you've given, pretty cool. But um, I, I assume like if you've got horns, having a hat is pretty difficult <laughs> as well. Because the ho horns and a hat, you'd have to have holes in your hat. <laughs> Not broken, it's just the horn have half part directed to the back. Have you got a reference image, Akira, or any like sort of um, demon illustration or artwork that kind of shows that sort of look? Just because that would help, because I want to make sure I, I've got the exact same vision in mind that you have. Okay, so we've read all that now and we can have a little good mess around in the generator. Let, let me find something awesome. That'd be great. Okay, so I'm going to open up RPG Maker now. I was having a play around in the generator just before we started stream. And we we kind of there a little bit. He's getting there. There's only a couple of things we, we're going to have to change. And... Um, Obviously, if there's anything you want to change, like the nose, the eyes, or anything like that, then just let me know, and I'll have I'll show you what ones we've got in the generator. So let's get it up. Here we go. So the one thing we need to sort of do, I think, is the coat. We do have a collar with this one. It's the only collared outfit that we've got um, in the generator. But as you can see, I'm not sure if you guys can see. I mean, maybe if it's large enough, maybe. But it isn't long. It's only short. So 
I'm gonna I'm gonna see what I can do because I did find an asset a couple of assets that had that were longer coats but we would have to edit them in Photoshop to make that work so um oh my god it's perfect you like it yay but yeah that is I looking at your description that is what I did and we got the horns we got the dark hair we've got the black sort of skull eyes and we have the demon teeth and what's so good about the mouth we've got like different versions we've got an angry mouth as well so we can when he gets mad he can change expression into that because we're gonna have different expressions and we've we've got a kind of we've got that as well but you wanted an open mouth so i feel like that's a good one to have as the default but i'm really glad that those teeth exist because we've got the vampire ones here that there that's vampire not demon my character's got them but these are perfect for your character and it's it's cool we got the horns like if you i didn't know what color you wanted the horns to be um i just chose like a gray white as the default but if you want to have them be a different color just let me know and we can easily just change them to for, to the color that you'd rather them be um and you said you wanted the coat to be black, didn't you? So we've got it. We've got the black collar. So I, I think the look, what we've got here for the face, sets great with the collar, and we'll probably keep that. Might we might make this the shoulders a bit darker, which is easy enough to do. Um, and all we, we'd have to do is make the coat longer on these the sprites. And um, really, I mean, you want you want a bit of red, like you say, at the end of the horn. The only thing that I'm unsure about is this 90 degree horn you mentioned. That's why I want to see a, a picture of what you mean, just so we can get that right. And I think everything else, we've, we've uh, got the description. We've got the red eyes. Um, we got the dark hair and everything. So black horns, okay. There we go. How's that? We have, we have, this is the darkest black we can have so we can if you want the darkest black we'll, we'll totally go for that it's great yay well i mean the horn's fine it can't it's kind of what i wanted so no need to worry about it. great so that's awesome then but you you want the red you want like a sort of red gradient is that what you mean like a kind of red gradient at the at the end that won't be difficult to add at all if that's what you want because it all it involves is like a, a, br a brush in photoshop or something the the most challenging bit will definitely be the coat but that's what we're going to mess around with now i definitely feel we need that long coat because what sort of gunslinger doesn't have that right <laughs> Red glow on the end, if not possible, forget about it. Awesome. So we'll have a go. We'll see what we can do anyway. I like to um, give things a go and make sure I've tried, if you know what I mean. So we'll, we'll do that now. Get these saved and put into Photoshop. And um, off we go. I'm glad you like him. He looks, he definitely looks a de like a, a half demon. He's got the human in him, but the mouth makes him very demonish. Quick question, Rose, the deepest, darkest secret section, is that on the character sheet or to come to light through the game story? Well, it will go on the character sheet. Um, everything in that form will be put on the character sheet. So whatever you put on there, be prepared for it for everyone else to see it on the sheet. The secret thing, like if you want to keep a secret about your character that you don't want anyone to see yet or know about, then just keep it to yourself. Don't reveal it. But um, if you want to write a secret that you want others to know about, so we can potentially think of ideas for your character ourselves with the story then that's great too so um basically just don't put anything you don't want us to know about in the form if you want to keep something to yourself and not reveal it yet don't just don't tell us um but the darkest secret thing is there simply to give us ideas so that we can like um when the community and me think of ideas for the story when your character's introduced we can like think of of ways to cause a bit of conflict or you know just like for character development purposes really yay okay so let's save the face image 
Also, I'm going to just save. I all I always save um, what what they what we've got in the character generator so it's easy to open it again and edit it if we need to so if we want to change his expression to an angry one we don't have to start do it all again from the beginning we can just open it as this okay so save um so we've got to just make sure i get it saved in the right folder I have so many assets now that uh, it's hard to find where to save things sometimes. Okay, so face, um, Akira. So I'm gonna. I'm I'm wondering if I should call you Akira at, at EXE or just put, or put all the numbers in front of your name and SCP as well. Um, but I, for ease, I could shorten it, but we'll see. I'll just shorten it for now, but we'll see. When we do the character sheet, I might put your, put your full Twitch name on then. We'll see if it fits, that is. It's a, it's a, long, it's a long name. And hi, Binary, how are you doing? Glad to catch one of your game dead streams. Have you been away for a long time, or have I just missed streams? Binary, um, there was, throughout the summer, I was streaming less, um, about june time through to august i yeah i i was streaming a lot less and i was do just doing once a week at one point but i did have like a month or so off because i went on hauls as well so yeah i i was streaming a lot less but now i'm back three times a week again mondays tuesdays and wednesdays so um yeah three days in a row today tomorrow and wednesday how are you doing anyway, Barnum? It's good to see you again, and I hope you're being well. Update us on things, and how are things going? How's how's life and game dev for you? Hope you enjoyed your house. Thank you. Awesome beans. Kung, how are you doing? Kung, Kung is uh, the latest um, person here to have 500 raindrops. Hooray. Well deserved, Kung. I'm good, thank you. The game I'm working on is in Kickstarter. It's going okay so far. A bit stressful. Oh my goodness! Put your link in chat, and uh, we'll have a we'll have a peek at that. I'm definitely gonna have a peek at that. But you can put it in chat, and you can also put it in. We have a Discord channel now called Creative Work. If you're in the Discord, um. Well, that's the link to our Discord, so if you're not in there, feel free to join. You don't have to, of course, nobody's forced, but um, we do have a... There's, we have a few channels, but we, we have one called Creative Work, and that could fit for your Kickstarter, I'd say. So if you want to if you wanna put it in there, let's see. Creative Work can be anything, art, game dev, um, writing, cosplay... Uh, just and anything creative, basically. I want to see everyone's awesome work. That means a lot. Yeah, honestly, I I want to support people that that do things like that and Kickstarters and that. So um, totally put it in chat today, right now. If so, peeps can click on it and have a peek, and and put it in the channel as well in Discord. Totally and good luck, best of luck. I hope it all goes well. I'm not done yet with Legion story. Ooh. Well, yeah, so it's, it's interesting, Akira, because you'll have a say with Legion, of course, but the community members will too. So we might we might send Legion on a on an interesting path. It's whatever wins the most pot votes in the polls we do, basically. Because if you've been keeping an eye on the game and you've seen our community polls and main story polls, everything is everything that wins in whatever direction we go with the game stories whatever gets the highest votes on the polls so you everybody's free to submit ideas um but it'll only go that direction if you're if it wins you know with the actual main story and stuff but you do have like Things that you want with your character, your character's law, what you want them to be, and, and things like that is all your decision. 
So, but it's mainly like the direction of the story that the community has control over. I have an idea for my character, but I need to run something by you first. Can I message you privately at later point? Sure, Kunk. Send me a DM or something. Um, there's no rush at all. Just because you've got the 500 raindrops now doesn't mean you have to get it done um, in another day or even a week. Just do it in your own time. Um, there's plenty of people here who have the re enough raindrops who still haven't filled in a form because they're not ready to yeah, or they want to wait a bit longer and that's fine. Just um, do it whenever you, you get an idea. Or But if you have any questions at all, feel free to ask. That's totally cool. We took it to Insomnia and had a really good busy time showing it off. Awesome. I, 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 I wish you the best of luck. Fingers crossed. I hope it I hope it's going well so far. Okay guys, so we're at the mo at the moment we're saving Akira's assets for his character. So um saving his face, his walking sprite, and his battle sprite because he is a playable character in the game. This guy is. He's um gonna be a gunslinger class. So that's interesting. We've we've now got a six member in the party. We have a vampire, me. We have a sorcerer, um, we have a knight, a diplomat, a herbalist, and now we've got a gunslinger. And we also have a warrior or hunter. It's one or the other. That's the custom here, right? So the, you you get to pick that when in when you create the character at the start of the game. But at the moment, like we're very early on in the game, we've, we're only in the first area of the game which is this forest area we've we'll been working on and we only currently have one party member which is the main custom hero and we're, we're just currently meeting my character in the game so she'll be joining the party soon and we haven't met the others yet we don't know when in normal rpgs you kind of meet people throughout the adventure so um we will we will gradually meet the other playable heroes as we we go to through, to other villages and stuff, and eventually we'll have a big crew with us. I've we're not going to have a limit on playable heroes characters in a lot of games. There's kind of a limit, isn't there? There's usually about eight. Um, in Final Fantasy, there's usually about seven or eight main characters that you can have in your party, isn't there? And in a lot of RPGs, but um, in this game, I'm not going to put a, a cap or a limit on it. Um, so we could have four two by the end, if we, maybe. Because the ones that we have in the party will have a party choice system where the player can pick who they want to, to use. Everyone will have their own, everyone will specialise in a class. That's how it, it all works. So, for example, Akira's character is a gunslinger. That's what he's going to be. All his skills are going to be based on gunslinger skills. And that's his specialism. And, um, yeah, so. And whether they'll be available to players depends on whether they're there in the story at the moment as well. Because sometimes some of the characters might go their own separate ways for a little bit. And then you might come across them after and meet up again. Just like any RPG, really. Okay, so now a war character. And once we've saved these, um, we'll get them open in Photoshop and we'll make the necessary edits and see how that goes. Ooh, the coat will be a challenge, but if it works well, it will look really badass. So let's see. We did it. We did the um, skeleton. We kindled the character. Okay, and this will work. It will work in a similar way. We'll just have to merge two assets together because we've. I found on the internet a guy wearing a long coat so I'll just put that asset in and try and turn him into a Kira and we'll see what we can do. Pardon me. My goodness there's a lot of rude names coming in chat today guys what is happening? What is happening? 
something. I don't want to like just ban people out right for having a rude name. Like I will give people a chance first to, to prove themselves that they're not a troll. Um, because I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. Like I've been in streams, and some people with rude names have been genuinely lovely people. Um, <laughs> we'll say. I mean, it makes me skeptical. Let's say that. But I, I always give people a chance um, to prove themselves. But thank you. That's a really nice thing to say. This is what I mean. You, you seem like a nice person. <laughs> There's wor there's wor worse words there's worse there's worse words than that but I don't feel right calling you penis for some reason <laughs> if I call you that I don't know if I feel right I'll call you huge or society how's that sound you're awesome thank you <laughs> I hope you're having a good Monday and th those emotes are great by the way they're super cute Hey, I'm going to call you Society. That's a good name. <laughs> do people call you Penis? Do people actually do that? or do, do, I'm, I'm curious what people tend to call you when you go in streams. Okay, so where's... Okay, Butler, here we go. Sorry about taking a while at saving these guys. Be, it can be hard to find where I've got to correctly save things sometimes. I want to keep everything tidy and organised. Okay, time to open the shop. So that's Kindle's um, skeleton girl. I need to get rid of this grid because it comes up by default now and I don't like it. Sometimes the grid's handy, especially for the tile set assets, but um, not for this. Okay, so I'm, I think I'm kind of satisfied by the look of it. We got the collar that makes it look like a coat at least. Um, the only thing I think we could do is just make, make the shoulders a bit darker. So it, it looks like a black coat rather than a grey coat with a black collar. So we'll see how that looks. Yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do it messily for now and I will neaten it up in a sack sort of works hooray for blended modes um okay so we could also think how we do this red grading at the tip of the horn as well so let's experiment um we have a gradient tool where is it? There it is. So So we could like highlight the bit with the horns. We'll see how this goes. Um <laughs> let's get it on another layer so we can change the opacity afterwards delete that we don't want it on his hair so 
so I guess it depends at how much you want it to stand out we don't need a big glow just a little one on the end so you want it to be smaller than that you want you don't want it to show on this because we've got most of the horns chopped off haven't we on this avatar so if you don't want it to show visible on this we can just get rid of it but let me know stand out this much i mean yeah we can mess around it and have it as dark pale or as deep as you want um But let me know a camera and we'll edit it to whatever your desires are. It's going to be a little visible, not too much. Something like that then. You can kind of see that the red is there. But it's not like super bright like that at least. Like that is good. Yay! Yeah, we'll have that then a camera. So I think like, yeah, we're kind of done with the... Um, you're happy with that as a fire set we gotta just edit the sprites now then so uh let's have a go let's see if we can give you that coat save is carol the barrel still a thing she is we haven't spoke about her in a while though <laughs> she's not been on the topic of conversation for once remember when i said i've got to try and go a whole stream without saying her name well i've succeeded i've gone about 10 streams without saying her name now that's a lie i've probably said i said her name in the last stream i think actually i was saying how much i missed her and how well wifey she is but we do tend to talk about her less because she's not currently the focus of the game um because we haven't really been doing her part of the game yet but when she comes back oh my goodness we'll be talking about her non-stop okay so we have let's zoom in here we go so goal is let's see if we can make him have a longer coat because currently he's just got a short one that goes up to his uh his waist and um yeah give him a little bit of red tip on the horns as well how cool does he look though he's even got the dark around his eyes as well like in the other and um here as well this is his battle sprite that's his walking sprite on the field map when you when you're in the game normally and that will be his battle sprite when he's in the battle system so we've got to just give him a longer coat as well we'll see if we can do that i'm not sure about the yellow um I don't it's better all, all black isn't it i'd say well it's up to you akira if you want it to be all black i'll change that yellow a bit to black that isn't won't be hard to do at all um so let's i'm going to just have a look at the avatars i've got give me a moment like that is good it's fine like that you like the yellow if you like the yellow we'll keep it i just want to make sure it's to your um your uh heart's desires akira do you what you do want the longer jacket though right or do you actually like the short jacket i mean we'll do whatever you want because i want to make sure now i want 100 percent double check you want a long jacket because your um, reference picture, yeah, your reference picture did have a long jacket. Okay, so we have, I found this online. Let me just get it up. Let me see if it fits. Okay, so we got this guy. It is a red one. We'll just have to change it to black. Um, so, I mean, we what I'm going to do is try and merge it with this jacket, the bottom of it mainly. Um so it's got the the long the 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 bottom bit but we'll see, we'll see we got to make sure it looks good so let's see how we can do this we pulled it off with kindled's character when we merged to assets so fingers crossed we can do it with this so we obviously got to get rid of the head i did try and look online to see 
if it was there on its own, the jacket, but it wasn't. We, we stuck with the head with it. So we'll have to manually remove the bot, the, the person from the coat. So we gotta just think of the most effective way to do this. We, we got it in position first of all. It'll help if we got it in the right position. How dare this blonde intruder be here? How are you making all these cool sprites? Are you cutting and pasting from different ones to do stuff? Yeah, just lots of heavy editing binary ferret to, to get the characters to look how we want them to. Like this um, this uh, one here with the lantern was edited. Uh, we manually added the lantern and uh, the skull face as well. So, um, and then we, we, did, we added the face on there as well. This is her normal face. And that's her as a skull. She looks scary. Um, okay, so we'll do this. We'll do this one first, and then we'll do the walking sprite after. We'll do the hard one first. Okay, so we could make turn the jacket right. We'll turn. We'll change the jacket's color at the end because the red is actually quite useful because we can actually it stands out quite well. So we know exactly what we got to keep and what we've got to get rid of here so hmm, trying to think the most effective way to do this i suppose we could um let's i know there's a way to yeah that this is it we can grab all of them if we like just grab everything that's red i think we have here and then just delete select inverse and delete the rest how will that work okay so we need to make sure it's in the right position now. And once we have, we've got it in the right position, we'll turn it black, and we'll just make sure it looks okay um, with the rest of the outfit. But that, I think that, like, you know what I mean? It seems like everything's in position there. Hey, that that actually worked okay. I just changed the colour. <laughs> And we might have to do a bit of manual editing because it might, some of the parts of the coat might look weird with the rest of it. But um, it'll it'll look better zoomed out, of course. But we actually do make the, these battle sprites times two size in game because they look t tiny. There were like little tiny things on the map in the game. So we, we do actually double the size of them. Um, okay, so... Ooh, you're looking like a real oh my god this is this is a, a badass right here hi fighting raindrops how are you doing welcome to the stream thanks for stopping by i remember you your name i, I recognize your name because it's similar to mine it's got rain in it and um it's funny because raindrops are the currency of our stream as well how are you doing anyway you having a good week fighting raindrops Oh my god, I love it. Yeah, it looks cool. And actually, it's blended in quite well. Like, we might not have to do much editing. Um, let's just make sure we get the colour correct. Like, to me, that's actually... I thought it could look a mess. I'm going to be honest. I thought, oh my god, when we add this coat, it's going to look weird and it's not going to go together. But it's actually, like, like honestly, I'm quite surprised by how... Um, how well that is actually like it genuinely looks like he's just put a coat on and it looks normal so hooray <laughs> rough week had a long day with my flight gone wrong yesterday but i'm home safe and cozy now oh no not a flight going wrong silly airport how dare they i hope you had a, a good time away though wherever it was that you went and i'm glad you're home it's good to be home and cozy with coffee I, I think so insanely badass yeah i'm so super happy with that i mean you want to keep the yellow so we will leave it completely like that if you want to keep those little yellow touches i mean we we if if we like hide that there's bits there 
that we're hiding once we put this over it but I don't know how much you want them to show if you want me to get those parts showing just let me know if, if you don't care that the coat covers them up then we'll just leave it as that just let me know Akira and I believe I discovered you during a Cafe Ella stream. She shared you and I had to follow you. Yeah, it, she's so nice. Like, I just went in the stream. Like, I I saw her lovely pixel art and I was like, oh, I'm, I'm going to have to say something about that because it's so good. And she was just, like, so nice as soon as I went in. But, um, yeah, she's super nice. And I appreciate you, you, you following Fading Raindrop. I'm popping in as well. Because a lot of people follow, but not everyone pop comes to pop in. But nobody is forced to. People can do whatever they want. But it's super appreciated. No, it doesn't matter. Leave them inside. Yay. Okay, so that's fine. Happy with that. we got to just do... Uh, we got to just do your... It here now. Hype. I'm excited. But it's working well. Look here. Your coat's coming along well. And um, we might... Honestly... We might, if, if, if this walking sprite goes well now and smoothly, we might have time to do the, the rest of the character sheet today. I don't see why not. Um, I was going to do just this part of the, your character today. Might as well just finish the character sheet too and get those over and done with. And we'll, we'll move on to the mapping in tomorrow's stream and um, all the other stuffs. Oh, who's the edge lord? It's Akira Maximum. Look at this coat. I mean, originally he looked because we didn't have that coat in the uh, original generator, but we've added it now, and it looks it makes all the difference, doesn't it? <laughs> really does. Love that character so far. Thank you. This character is, uh, as you can see, Akira in our stream. It's his character. Um, Basically, we're making a game, Fading, fading Raindrops. It's uh, just a fun RPG maker game. Uh, it's going to be free to play, released as episodes. Um, we're still very early on in the project. Episode 1 hasn't even come out yet. And we have... Uh, Akira is our 13th or 14th character, I believe, in the game. So, you can actually be a character yourself once you reach, reach a certain amount of raindrops in the stream. And um, it might seem like a lot, but it they can soon add up over time. And thank you, Kung. Really cool looking character. Yeah, he's a gunslinger. So, you know, he, he looks the part of that of a gunslinger for sure. And he's half demon. He's half human, half demon. And he wants to find somewhere to belong. That's that's the basis of the character. Very similar to mine, because my character's a human that got turned into a vampire, and she wants to find somewhere to belong to, because nobody accepts her, because, you know, she's a vampire, and everyone thinks she's going to suck their blood, and she can't talk to people properly and tell them that she's nice and friendly, because she can't even speak properly. She just speaks. She's feral. She's just a feral vampire. <laughs> be back well enjoy your brb here and hopefully we will get the coat looking good when you get back he had to remove so much from the character sheet got way way too caught up in writing his background yeah well it's the character's super interesting like there's um akira has been quite like mysterious on the character sheet really and left a lot of open to interpretation so i really want to know more about him some character sheets are like that some people have like kept things super brief in mysterious which is fine it makes you like wonder about the character but other people have like wrote paragraphs and that's fine too you can do whatever you want guys you can be as brief or as detailed as you want with your characters because some people would rather like have that law all detailed down others maybe don't really care or want to leave things open to us to to fill in the blanks and both options are fine rose is a really beautiful girl. like oh thank you that's really sweet i appreciate that very did rare drops you're really you're a really sweet person <laughs> everyone's been so nice today vash the stampede main story pal when oh yeah why what good question um i'm kind of leaving it open simply because i would love more votes um 
I believe yours is winning at the moment. Why? What? But I want it to, I want more in. I, I want a few more votes, guys. So let's do the command now. So potentially I'll like leave it open for the rest of the week. Um, and we will completely close it at the end of this week. Even if we don't get any more votes um, by the end of the week, we'll, we'll close it because I feel like it's been open um, long enough now. But I just want to get in as much as we can so we know what everybody's favourite is. Um, but Wednesday's stream, we will close that and then we'll be, I think we'll be at a point then that we can start with the next part of the main story. Um, but we do have like a few little things to do, like we got to finish the parallax maps, um, make sure we don't have lag on them, because we have a bit of lag currently. Need to figure out how to get rid of that lag with the parallax maps. And um, also, got yeah, there's a few little bits and bobs. We've got the enemies as well to do in the forest. We need to figure out uh, what some of their skills are going to be, and we've got to place them on the map. Uh, so yeah, there's a few bits and bobs, but I definitely want to do some story stuff soon and get the dialogue written and, and that'll be really exciting. The Duke and two character arts, they were so well detailed, yeah? I want to see them. I'm going to Google that game after. But yes, um, if you want to vote, the Dis Discord is the place to be when it comes to voting for uh, any polls we put up for the game. Um, and... Uh, you can it's optional whether you join our discord or not um but every vote counts of course every vote helps gives us an idea on where to take the game okay so i'm gonna just make sure this is saved because this oh i was gonna say it's perfect but we haven't done the the horns yet and it's not i don't think that's going to be hard to do i mean we can we could, I'm going to save that till the end. We'll get the coat done first, actually. And then we'll do the horns after. Okay, so we need him to have a badass coat on this sprite as well. So, I... I found an asset that does have a long coat, but I just want to make sure that there's not any more. I want to see what's available. Because I've got one. It doesn't look quite as cool as it looks on the battle sprite, but we'll say. We'll see what we can do. It doesn't have a collar. We can always add one manually if it looks okay. <laughs> we'll see. Um, we need to make it a bit darker. But that is, that is the only long coat I can currently find. Um, hey, little rebel, welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? Hope you're having a good week. I could spend forever looking for assets, I really could. I'm good, thanks you. I'm doing good, little rebel. If you want to know more about our project that we're working on, that is the place to go. Thanks for hanging out with us. Do you like RPGs? If you if you like RPGs, you'll love it here. This game is um, is gonna be the ultimate RPG. 
and we listen to RPG background music to Final Fantasy. I love Final Fantasy music. Hmm. Nice sprites, have you made them? Nope. I, I do a lot of sprite editing so we can get the characters looking how the community want their characters to look like. We make, we get in a coat. Um, we added this coat to Akira's character. So, yeah, there's, we do a lot of editing, but all the assets are kind of originals. And it's simply because uh, this game, the nature of the game, is um, quite fast-paced. I say fast-paced, but we're still on the, the, the first dungeon of the game. But the nature I'm trying to create for this game, the nature of it is fast-paced. Um... If I did all my own assets, uh, I would be here until 2050 <laughs> making this. So it's um, because of everything else we got to do, the level design, the everything. All the stuff that's involved in making a game is very time consuming. So it just helps to not have to do the all the artwork. Okay. One day I do want to actually make my own game that is like completely all mine but that will be in the future thank you for the follow i appreciate that okay so let's let's just uh see if we can merge this kind of, i have a feeling that this one's not going to look as good as the other one once it's merged but we'll see oh we've accidentally got rid of what we shouldn't have let's hide the other one for now It might look okay when it's on top of Akira's coat, but first of all, I'm going to just delete all the stuff we don't want. We don't want the head. And we don't want the blue shirt either. So all we want is the coat. And this, this is long. This coat here um, is longer than the one that Akira's sprite is currently wearing. So... Um, I may, might need to change the colour so it's a little bit darker. It's more grey than black at the moment. We might need to make a few manual edits as well just so it looks okay. But we'll see. We'll, we'll uh, get a better of idea how this is, looks once, uh, once we delete the rest. Hey Rose, how's the five Rod? How are you doing today? Happy Monday, Rod. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Doing some character editing and fingers crossed it looks good and not like a mess. It worked well on uh, the other one. This one looked really good. I hope it looks as good on this one. Do, we're doing a lot of characters lately um we've had some community members get enough raindrops to be a character so they've filled in their forms and it's awesome we'll have four, 14 need 15 soon okay so let's get rid of this blue we don't want blue I think what this one's lacking is the collar, but we'll see um, once it's. Yeah, I think like once you've changed the colour of it to more of a black rather than a grey, and we've got rid of all the stuff we don't want, it'll be okay because you can tell it's a long coat at least. Um, so. Let's get rid of all the blue and all the yellow so we're literally just left with nothing but the coat and then we'll, i'll make it a bit deeper in color and then we'll 
we'll see how that looks then. But as you can see, like, it definitely gives the impression he's wearing a long coat. Better than the one he's currently in. It's a short one anyway. Sprite Creator 3 was a really good tool for banging averages, but they didn't match the sprites in the engine I'm using quite as well as they liked. Oh no, nothing's perfect, is it? Like, I think every software is good in its own way, but also has its cons. I love Photoshop, simply because I know it best. Um, but it's not perfect, and I prefer using graphic scale for some things. Um, especially um, pixel art. Mainly pixel art that I make from scratch. Like the character sheets, for example. I like doing them in graphic scale rather than Photoshop because they look tidier and sharper. How much more black could the coat be? The answer is not none more black. <laughs> it can be a bit black. Look how black that is. I'm back, Rose. Legion story is done. Welcome back, Akira. Just, uh, we're getting uh, this coat for the walking sprite now. Just deleting um, the unnecessary things. And I'm glad Legion's story is done. I'm excited to do his character sheet. wanted to stop in and say hello well it's, you're always a joy to have here rod and it's appreciated when you take time out of your day to pop in and say hi and i hope the rest of your day goes awesome Oopsie. It was definitely a lot e easier to edit the other one because it was red and it was easier to separate the colours from the rest of it. It's um, Raindrop Chronicles Stream 30 tomorrow, guys. you believe it? I wonder if episode 1 will be released before stream 100. Stream 100. I wonder. Maybe we should set that as a goal. But obviously no pressure. I'm not going to release the episode when it's um, not in a fit state. But uh, it be interesting if we do get it done before episode 100. Stream goals, yay! The story is on creative work. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll have a peek at that later than Akira. But yeah, um, I, 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 can't, I can't remember if I told you that the, the creative channel was up, Akira. We were talking about it in the stream earlier. But it was Akira's idea. He was the one that uh, requested the creative channel. And I'm glad you did. Hopefully we get some awesome stuff uh, posted in over time. Okay, so I think if we got it all, let's have a look. Okay, so we're gonna um, we're gonna just make it a bit darker, and we're gonna make a few edits because as we can see here, it's over his hair. So we'll just have to change that, change a few bits and bobs. I'd like to kind of give more of a collar as well, like a point. But um, I'm not. I'm unsure how good that would look because it's when he walks. It might. It might look weird because I. I'm not an animator really. So even I can do like um, flat pixel art, like fine. But it, the challenge is like knowing when it, it has to animate and move 
it, I can make it a little wonky. Oopsie. We'll see. Okay, so. Um, levels. Ooh. Do you do this kind of stuff full time? Well, I stream, I would say I'm more of a part time streamer than a full time streamer if I'm streaming three times a week at the moment. Um, and that's because I spend the other half of my week working on other creative things. Um, I've, I'm a, what can I say? I'm, I'm, I like doing a lot of creative projects. So, um, yep. I, yeah, so part time, I guess. I've, I've thought about it. I've thought like doing streams more often, but not, I can't at the moment because it means I'd have to sacrifice the other stuff that I do. So I'm working on a secret project. I'm not, I've actually not revealed what the secret project is, and that's what I do the other half of the week. But maybe eventually I'll reveal it. It depends how it goes. Cool, cool. I meant creative stuff rather than streaming. Yep, well, I've kind of, I think I've kind of answered your question there. And obviously I work on Raindrop Chronicles off stream as well because I'd never get it done otherwise. Because to be honest, um, streaming times Raindrop Chronicles, it's not really the time to get work done. A lot of the time I end up chatting more than doing work. Um, so I have to get productive off stream. Sometimes that's to be expected. I can now send my SCP-566 file and story. Ooh, is that is that part of your name? Like, is that a bit of, um, is it related to your character in their law? I don't know. I don't know what the, the, the 5666 means, Akira. I feel like, um, what if I'm missing out? What if I'm misunderstanding something obvious here with your name? <laughs> I've always wondered, though, what the meaning of your name is. It's related to my name. Oh, okay, cool. Okay. Um. So let's grab this hair. Okay, it's grabbing too much. Had the tolerance on two. Okay, for now, I think that might work. So we'll see if this works. So now we've got the hair where it should be. Um, but I want the outline bit as well, but it's struggling to grab that. I'm sure there's a setting. Oh, there we go. Kind of grabbed it, but. Yeah, that's going to look weird. I only wanted the bit for the hair, not for the coat underneath it. Oh, hi, new people. Hi, Valiant and Dolls. Welcome to the stream. Let's just see what you've said. Do you think streaming holds you accountable when it comes to finishing projects? You th do you? Let me just make sure I understand that question. Do you mean does streaming affect if I finish them? Do you think it makes the sl process slower? Is that what you mean? What RPG maker do you use? MV. RPG maker MV. Which is the most recent RPG, actually, RPG Maker. I forgot when it came out, was it a couple of years ago? Oh, I know what you mean now. You mean, if I didn't finish my project, would... Hang on, I'm... <laughs> my brain's mush at the moment. But I think I know what you mean. I think you're trying to ask, uh, um, streaming, does it help me finish projects? Is that what uh, I mean? Um, I'd say so. I think something always, if you're like doing it with other people, like a community, um, that is motivating. 
especially when there's other people that are excited about it too because it it's not just for you then it's for everybody else too and um i think if you're doing something on your own it maybe it's a, a lot easier to lose that motivation than say if you've got um a group of friends behind you like really excited and stuff hi guess who welcome to the stream how's it going hope you're having a good monday Will I have trouble finishing products? There is nothing to hold me accountable. Oh, okay. Do you do things all complete yourself and Valiant? Like, um, it all on your own. You don't show it to an audience or anything, your projects. But yeah, Azarella, tell me off. I couldn't let you guys down. I mean, at the most, like, say if life got really busy, at the most i just reduce my schedule to like what i did before like one day a week or whatever but that would only happen if things got hectic like if i had a full-time job or something that I had to do for a while or i had to move house or something really busy happened but i'd always go back to my regular schedule eventually once think time got freed up again the number behind scp is the designation of a normal object and 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 keep the normal normalcy of the world awesome akira it's very intriguing you need to have people working with me yeah you you find that you, that motivates you maximum i'm good thanks how was your weekend is this your first stream for the week yeah it is guess who um monday um well i i always stream monday tuesday and wednesday so for the first half of the week, I'm always live. Um, I'll be back again tomorrow and Wednesday. You got me three days in a row. I do show it to people when I have something playable. Okay. Do you have like a social media account for your um, creative projects? Sometimes I can. That could help. Like if you show it and people get excited, then it that that motivates you. You could even start streaming it. That's um always a possibility people like watching creative projects on twitch but uh, sometimes that can some people get daunted feel a bit daunted by that sort of prospect your fingers being a jerk again <laughs> when you have time res read my file and story if if you're curious about scp go on the foundation official website sure akira and when your character actually is introduced to the story and we get his backstory and lore and now i'm sure i'll be asking questions then as well make sure we get him exactly how you want him to be Ooh, binary you've got you've got over 100 raindrops now good job i find it hard to work with people when it's my own project Oh, okay. I used to be like that. Um, I used to be very much a lone worker and I was like wanting to do things a certain way and um, I understand that to a good degree. I think when you work with other people with a project, you kind of have to change your mindset a bit about the project. So, um, but the, I definitely have to do that with some projects. Like my other project that I do the other half of the week, my secret one, that's like one that is just mine and stuff. I think we have to kind of have something that's just ours as well. Legion story is already done and rain for your approval. Yay. Pink happy blob. That sounds cute. Not that active on social media. I know I should, but it's depressing to watch people posting crap. Oh gosh, Valiant, I get that. To be honest, I have social media as a streamer, you kind of have to. But I am not as active as I should be, I have to admit that. And um, I find, I, yeah, it, it can like bring your mood down if there's something on the timeline that you're like, well, what's, what's this? <laughs> Like I, I even cut down my list of people that I follow, and I love everybody that I follow. Um, but I'm still, I still get stuff in my timeline from people I don't even follow, like so often, and that's weird. But I think that's just the Twitter algorithm now. 
Rose having separate projects, that's like a little like we should see other people, is it? Oh no. Those aren't words that anybody would hear from me. <laughs> I'm legit the worst to work with at uni, yeah? I'm sure you're not, guess who? I'm sure you, you're fine to work with. Okay, so we might have to do this bit manually, unfortunately, because I am struggling to grab just the hair bit. It's grabbing all the jacket as well. But a way we could do it is this. This is maybe a quick, a quick way. Can do that and then just maybe use the history brush to get it back to how it was before. That sort of worked and then we'll do it to on these bits as well he's got a longer coat though at least I mean you can't really tell from the back as much because it's, it's only got a tiny bit of body but it'll, you can definitely tell with the front and side sprites compared to what it used to look like originally You'll need to sit down and listen to SCP-9 <laughs> sometimes it's a short story and it's hilarious. Yeah, I I have no idea. I've never heard of it before and I'm intrigued now. So, um, interesting. I make others do the research while I do the technical side. Yeah, we've all got our strengths, haven't we? I mean, doing a project like this, oh my goodness. Like, you have to be really versatile because you've got to be good at like doing asset editing mapping level design um skill creation um writing and dialogue and law and character development scripting and all sorts it's hard work guys legion is looking gorgeous oh my god i love it i'm so glad you're happy with it akira makes me happy that you you that people like their characters because I try my best to to get them as close to the image that you have in mind and as, as you know we, there's there's limitations with the uh, RPG man you can't always get everything you desire um, especially because I'm not committing to doing the, my own assets with it I'll like I say I do a little bit of editing at most but yeah, I still want peeps to be happy. Okay, so we're just getting the outline of his hair at the moment. Want to make sure, because it looks a bit weird without that there. So yeah, it does grab part of the coat. So what I do, I just do that. And then I just use the history brush to, to get it back to how it looked. He's looking like a true demon badass, I have to say. And we were a really versatile bunch of characters. I'm really happy about that. We've got a demon. Um, we've got a, um, a Japanese-inspired waifu who is also a skeleton lady. We have reptiles with hats on. <laughs> we have humans. We have elves. Um, God, we got big old swords. Just have to look through our character sheet to see them all. I want to see some like full on cats and doggos as well at some point. They're the only race I think nobody's picked yet. Um, so I'd love to see a cat or a doggo character. We have like an echo character, which is like a human with cat ears, which I love. I want to see a full on furry, furry cat, please. <laughs> I'm not a furry, I promise. I'm not. I just think they're cute. Hi Natterize, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? I hope I said your name correctly. C's look like um, zeros <laughs> on my font. I think it's an O, not um, not a C. So I called you Natterize, but I think it's Natterline. <laughs> C's do look like O's, I have to say. But welcome to the stream, how are you doing? 
let's catch up with chat i have been rambling to myself and i've been missing it all i need a programmer so badly yeah i mean i'm not a coder myself but i just like fluke my way through this software most of the time so what i do if i get really stuck with code i literally just go on support forums and get people to do it for me that's what i've done in the past you have to code now take care valiant that was fine you know hope you have an awesome day thank you for the follow as well and nat nat thank you for the follow as well Get game that i was developing years ago it just won't leave your head oh my goodness yeah i've i know that feeling i've got like two ideas two game ideas concepts that i've had in my head for like 10 plus years and I haven't started them because it's going to just take forever. <laughs> but one day. Oh, that's nice, Valiant. One to help maximum. Had a 10 man team working on it back then, but life happened and the universe decided against it. Oh my goodness. Well, maybe you, you'll get it back, back doing it one day. Who knows? Rats. Oh my god, those rats are cute. We, we have a mod in this stream that has pet rats and he posts his pet rats in the Discord sometimes. They're so cute. When I hit my five, 500, my cat character sheet is already submitted. Oh my god, as you're doing a cat? As in a Neko or a f actual full-on furry cat? A feet like a full-on feline race. You, you say you're not a furry, but that shady grin. <laughs> so I'm, it's, I'm grinning because I'm embarrassed that you guys would think I'm a furry. Nothing wrong with being one, like if you are, but I'm not. I, that isn't my. That isn't what I meant. <laughs> are you making a game without knowing how to code? Yeah, Nat. Um, I wouldn't say like I'm a complete noob. Like I can find my way around scripting. Um, I put together a custom hero um feature in this game um i did that with a b bunch of if statements really and there's a youtube video of it as well and um it's had like nearly 3k views now and it's a lot of people have actually found that pretty useful um so you know what i mean i can find my way around things but i'm far from a pro <laughs> if you know what i mean i haven't studied code or anything like that so cute i love rats they are they're very underrated animals aren't they i think sharks are underrated too but uh but yeah like the good thing about rpg mark and i've said this before it's a, a really great um software for anybody new to game development who wants to make an rpg um because it's quite user friendly it's not too overwhelming Full on feline, I'm so glad as. I want to, I've been wanting someone to be a full on feline character for ages. I've just really wanted to make a cat character in the generator. <laughs> so badly. Okay, so we've been a bit slow today <laughs> getting Akira's character done. So I've been doing a lot of chatting, but you know, I'm a very, I'm very much a chatty streamer when it comes to talking to chat. I try not to miss anything. I, I like to read every single line and sometimes it, it's impossible to do that, but I try my best. I'm, I'm sure I've missed bits, but I do try to read all of it. So I'm just going to try and make sure we've got the outline of Akira's hair here. I think that's it. So you can see he's got his coat on. It's looking better than how it, the original asset did, I think. Um, but there's a few little graphical glitches we're gonna just edit got it's white here and it's not meant to be i need some water 
I'm thirsty. Well, I think that's so cool. I would love to learn to code someday, but I don't have time for it. I will learn some basic programming in our statistics this autumn. Maybe someday make a small game yourself. Yeah, you should. Very inspiring. What software did you recommend? I didn't hear it. RPG Maker MV Nat. Um, this is the one I'm using for this project. Um, it's on Steam. Um, it can be a little bit pricey, but I, d I got it in a sale. I got it at 75% off in the Christmas sale, I believe, and it was a lot more reasonable then in price. Um, and it's it's just great. It's very user friendly, and if you don't code, I 100% um, recommend this software. So I would love to see more people making games in RPG Maker, even streaming them. I would love to see that. I want to see more people do what I do on Twitch because it's pretty. I'm, pretty much one on my own if, with this like I feel like I am so I want to see others do it too with our RPG maker games that is even community RPG maker games it's hard though <laughs> but it's fun there are older versions, but MV uses an easier and more useful programming language for when you want to learn. Yeah, there's like, how many how many RPG makers has there been now? Oh my god, has there been about 10? There's been a lot. But MV, MV is the most recent, but I'm not sure whether I'd say it's the best one. But they generally improve them, don't they, with every new um, edition? Yeah, you were the first I've seen so far working with RPG Maker. Yeah, Rebel. Let's have more streamers in RPG Maker. I want it to become a Twitch thing, but it is very, it's a very like hidden gem of, of software. I feel like it's, um, not many people know about it. Maybe, maybe that's it. I mean, I've known about it since I was 12. And when I discovered it then, I was screaming with joy. I was like, I can make an RPG. Okay, so just checking this coat over, making sure it looks fine, I think. Um, And it kind of does have a collar, but you can just see it more on this one. And Kira wants to keep the little yellow gold bit, so we'll keep that there. So that's our walking sprite, and that's our battle sprite, and that's his face. My goodness, he's done. We've done it. Oh no, we haven't done him. <laughs> We've still got to the gradient bits on his horns, but that'll literally take five minutes. So um, let's see. Let's see how this will look. Can't believe I forgot about that. He's complete. Oh my God, so good. Yay, so I'm going to just do the, this little red bit on the uh, the horns of Kira, so there we go, select inverse, um, we'll get this on another layer, hey, why is that there? There we go. Yeah. Select inverse now. So we can change. Oh no, I didn't put on another layer. So we can change the um, opacity so it's not so bright. I think you said you wanted it right at the edge like that, didn't you? So 
Would you want it to be like that or something like that? Respect. Hi, Can. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? I'll call you Kanj. Kanj or something instead of 187. One, one I'm better with words than numbers. Looking good. Yay. Easily 10 opinions are split between MV and VXAs. Oh, okay. VXA, yeah, VXA is actually never tried out that one. Okay, so I can also do it like this. I can just grab, do that and then select, delete like that. And then erase what's on the head where it shouldn't be. So yeah, I'm I'm quite pleased that we're very very close to finishing Akira's character. Now we can we can do his sheet next. So um. Looking like we'll get it done before the end of the stream. Wrong way. Okay, so this is actually been a bit of a silly because it's grabbing those like so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna i'm gonna do that i'm gonna do that yeah and i'm gonna just do what i did before that's much easier to do that way I think it's a nice touch, the, those um, little red tints at the end of the horns, for sure. My goodness, guys, I'm, I might have to go and BRB soon and get a drink. I'm a thirsty one, but we'll get this done first. Huzzah! So now we got to just do the battle sprite. Pretty neat, huh? Is he is he exactly how you imagined Akira? And we can get him into stream avatars as well, Akira. We could actually do that um, now. We can get that avatar put in for you so you can be walking across here. Um, but we'll get um, your battler done first, just so it's out the way. Okay, so there's a few here. So we could do it in rows like we did before. And that's probably going to be the easiest way to do it. So make a separate layer. But doing it, this bit isn't hard at all. It's slightly more con time time consuming to um, to get it on every single horn, but it's not hard work. Just have to make sure we delete it so it's not on his head. And also try and make it a little bit. Yeah, that was it about that. If you want it to be darker or lighter then just say that'll be cool 
but yeah with playable characters um there's more assets because we have these sprites um for non-playable characters like just normal npcs they don't have uh the battle sprites so unless they're an antagonist and they are someone that we're gonna fight in battle then we would have a battle sprite for them but we don't know who will be fighting in battle yet because we haven't written the story Yay! Okay, so top row is done. Second line now. See, that didn't take too long, did it? And it's caught his feet a little bit, so we gotta make sure that's delayed. I don't know, I think I'm not, I and mean, we might have done it a little bit too deep that time, so. We'll try again, and we'll try not to catch his foot this time. I have a habit of being very zoomed out when editing. I strangely don't like being too zoomed in because I like to see everything. But sometimes it's probably better to be zoomed in. There we go, we don't know his feet that time. Did you plan? Did you plan a voice acting? Well, we don't have to have it because of the style of the game being quite retro. Um, we definitely isn't something necessary. Um, I'm actually not even sure what the limitations are with voice acting RPG Maker and how, because I don't think many of those type of projects actually have voice acting in it. But. Um, if we was going to do it, it would probably be something we decide once episode two is complete and we'd have to vote on it, what people thought um, and whether it was something that was very, if it was a very heavily requested thing, then, it, then I would perhaps consider it. But it all depends if it's even possible or how difficult it would be. Yeah, I've got to do a little bit of editing with this one because move those up a bit. Feature creep for you, rides, voice acting. <laughs> Can't think of any outside vocals on songs, audio clip for battle ending, maybe. Yeah, I mean, I'm not even aware of any projects that are similar to this that have it. Have it. I'd love to, if there is any that do that, I'd love to see videos of the game. Because I always think it's good to have, like, inspiration to help. I mean, if it was something that we'd do, it'd have to be, like, something we all did together. Because I am not, I'm not doing that alone. Um, I my voice isn't versatile enough to do voice acting, so it'd have to be a group thing. But like I said, we don't. It all depends. Like at the moment, it's a no. Um, but I won't say no if it was it seemed popular and wanted, and people were like really wanted to do it. We'll say. Um, Okay, so I'm just going to get the razor on this just to... Oh, I accidentally deleted it. Silly. Just 
just to fade, fade it a little bit because they're a little tiny bit bright. It does look good like I think like it's such a subtle touch but it just it makes him look really cool just having that little tint okay guys I'm gonna just go on a BRB for a few minutes because I'm very thirsty and I just want to have a walk around and and stuffs and get my eyes away from the screen for a few minutes and then I'll be back I'll be finishing off the rest um, we'll get Akira's character put into stream avatars and then we'll do his character sheet. And anything that doesn't get finished today on stream, we've still got over an hour. Um, I will I'll probably get, I probably might finish off stream or finish at the very start of next stream. And um, and then we can do some more mapping once Akira's character's done. Okay, I'll be back soon. Don't miss me too much.
Okay, I am back. And I have my water bottle. It's cute, isn't it? Oh, it's a little bit see-through. You can see it more here. It's cute. It's a cute water bottle. It's got donuts on it. Thank you, guys. Thank you for the welcome back. You're all so nice. Okay, so here we are. Akira's character. So close to being done now. Um... And it is a little one of the more complicated ones because we have more extra assets but it's totally worth it because there's so much to do guys like if you if you click on the little extension that we've got you'll see exactly what's um what our goals are our next tasks and those are those are just a few of them we have a super long list we could we could do it like this this might actually be easier do all the gradient first and do all the edit and erasing together I, I think that will be more um, a little bit faster Hopefully, um, when this is animated, though, it look it looks good and not to uh, because it's such a subtle gradient. I think it'll look fine, but sometimes things have we have to see things animated first to know for sure. But if we ever have to edit anything, that is okay. That's gonna happen. Even with that Everbloom Forest map, I see mistakes all the time on there when I thought I'd finished it. And I have to go back and edit it. Okay, so now delete the background, and that'll be easy now. Now we can do all the um, arising at the same time. Zoom in a little bit more, maybe, just so we can. Make sure we get all the details. And anywhere it's a little bit bright, I'll just go over it with the eraser a bit. Do that at the end. Like the new Twitch feature. Hi Demi, how are you doing? Thank you. I changed it to an actual picture of me this time. But we've still got the character art in my uh, panels. And on my Merc as well. But I thought it was about time I had an actual real picture of me. So people can actually see what I look like. You know? My god, my, my bangs grow so fast, you know. I trimmed them and now I'm going to have to trim them again. <laughs> I was, you know, some, I did something really silly today. Um, I hairsprayed my bangs. Like directly on my face like that. And, um... I got hairspray in my eye and I had my glasses on so I thought I'd be okay but I got a hairspray in my eye and it was really sore <laughs> but I watered like crazy that was like literally five minutes before stream as well so it, that was why I was a little bit late today 
because of the a hairspray incident. I thought because I was wearing glasses I'd be fine. No, but my glasses were my protector. Still got hairspray in my how did that happen? Close <laughs> eyes first on now. I would have if I didn't have my glasses on, I definitely would have. It's a lesson learned now, guys. Just because you're wearing glasses, don't think that's going to protect you from all the horrible forces out there. It'll still get to you. <laughs> Never again. Yeah, my eye was like streaming. Um, it looked like I was crying, so I had to wait for it to to go away. Before I stop, before I went live. Yeah, on some sections, his horn's a little bit bright, so I'll I'll fade that out a little bit. And make sure it's the same as how it looks on all the others. is dry from the shower early my hair takes forever to dry you know like it literally takes about five hours to dry and my hair isn't as thick as it used to be when i was younger so i don't know why my hair isn't like it used to be when i was like in my early 20s and late teens my hair used to be thick and I'm losing a lot now. Surprised I'm not bald, if I'm honest, because uh, every time I like wash it, like my hand, like my hands are full of my hair. It's quite scary. It's okay. I'm convinced my wife waits till I'm standing behind her to use hairspray. Yeah, it's not even my hairspray. It's my mum's. I stole it. My mum puts my mum puts so much on her hair. Like when she's using it, stinks. It makes me feel sick when I smell the hairspray after she's been doing her hair. I literally only wanted a tiny bit on my bangs just to keep them in place, but obviously it didn't work. Need to give them a good trim. Give me my eyes soon. People say bangs are high maintenance, but I really don't think they are. Even though I'm like <laughs> going on about them, I actually thought it was way more high maintenance to not have bangs, funnily enough. My hair said goodbye to me long ago. No hair, no problem. Yeah, it must be so much easier to not have hair. Um, I'm jealous of my dad because he, he doesn't have hair. Um, you know, if it was socially acceptable for women to be bald, I would totally do it. And I know I shouldn't care what is socially acceptable anyway. I should do whatever I want. Um... But let's face it, people would have something to say if I was walking around bald. And I can't, I don't know if I can be bothered, if I'm honest, to face that. Oh wow, hello. Hi Carmen, how are you doing? Welcome to the stream, it's good to see you. Hope you're having a good Monday. Also, I have long hair it's a real mess because it's curly hair. Oh really? I think curly hair is really nice. So embrace the curls, I wish mine was curly. Mine's just like a weird wave between curly and straight. I straight. I actually straightened my hair today, but when it's um, natural, it's like not either or. Doing really good, didn't know you streamed. I know, yeah. I'm a dark horse, I am. Real dark horse. <laughs> Hi, Master Emerald. Oh my goodness. Hi, guys. Let's welcome Master Emerald into the stream and the Raiders. 
How you doing? How was your game dev stream last time? I'm assuming it was game dev today. Sometimes maybe I'm wrong sometimes, but I think I'm right. Let's um give a shout out to Mast Emerald. Yay! I was right. It's game dev. How how is it going? How did it go? I hope you didn't run any, into any problems and it was a, a smooth productive day for you. I wish I wouldn't give an SHIT on what people think, but that's just wishful thinking. Yeah, it's only natural, little rebel, to w worry about what people think. It's just human nature. We'll tell ourselves to not care, but we do, and that's normal. I know I do. Quick question. Everyone pretend we were having a highly intellectual conversation. Not about how life would be if we was all bold, yeah. Um, confession time. Um, we were just, we were talking about b being bold. I was talking about me being bold as well and saying I would do it if it was socially acceptable um, for a woman to be bold. Just because it's easier. My mum wouldn't let me though. I know that's crazy to say I'm 30 years old and my mum wouldn't let me go, go bold. She'd be like, what are you doing? Why have we got rid of all that, that hair? She'd have a problem for sure. Blender is being weird, but still productive. How's your stuff going? It's going good, um, Master Emerald. We're doing some uh, characters today. Uh, we've had some new community members get enough uh, raindrops in the stream to become a character now. Akira's our most recent one. So this is his character. He's a half demon. He's got a badass coat on. It's really cool, yeah? So we're finishing him off with the... With, uh, made sure he looks perfect and then we're going to add him to our character sheets and uh, so yeah and then later in the week we're going to go back to doing some mapping we need to finish our map i'm going to stream now as soon as today though see you later right yeah i'll see you later Carmi. thanks for stopping by and saying hi um it's uh good to see you I hope your day goes well. Um, okay, uh, I missed a little bit out here. How could I? And I'm sorry Ben's been weird. I hope he gets it fixes itself soon and stops being silly. Tries to look smart. You are smart. You don't need to try. You are. Okay, so I think, yeah, I think we've done it. There's a, just a few, a couple of horns that maybe could do with toning down a little bit in colour. Because Akira doesn't want them to be too bright. Yay! Okay, just if we do need to ever make some edits, if it, if something looks a bit offish, then we can always do that in the future. But I think for now, I think uh, we we got it. Some might be a bit bright, but we'll only know that when we see the animation in action. Um, so save. So. The hard part's done. D getting the character look sorted and the sprites working and looking great and the face set is the time consuming bit. Um, the character sheet itself doesn't take long really. It still takes about an hour because you got to get everything put in but the template's there and it's not too bad. Are you building a village for these characters? Hi Messi! How's it going? Um, yeah, we do have a village. I'm, I'm going to show you guys because we've had a, we've had, had these characters up a lot today and I haven't had a chance to show the stream the actual um, area that we've done in the game. And I know there's some new peeps hanging out. So um, let's just, just show you. 
yeah this this is all we've got so far i'm in the way but this little sidebar here is um the areas we got so far so we've got a village called lake fall and a forest called the everbloom forest which is attached to lake fall it's sort of part of it but lake fall is the actual village and it's very tiny only a few shops we've got an inn a tavern a weapon and an item shop and that is where we start the game our um our character was uh he was in a barrel he was like hiding away as a stowaway and he yeah things things are pretty interesting and um we've done a little bit of the dialogue and story but we'll be doing more of that in the next couple of weeks i'd say um and this is the first dungeon oh my god it there's a lot there's six screens and there's a lot of um there's a lot of detail should i say spent a long time doing all this adding the flowers and stuff so uh, we've still got a lot to do little bit of tidying up to do we've got to put the enemies in the dungeon as well um i call it a dungeon even though it's a forest because you know to me a dungeon is anywhere where there's enemies and uh this is where the boss of the dungeon is going to be but we don't know who that's going to be yet but exciting times so the characters not all of them are going to be here there's literally just the custom hero and my character and we will be introduced to the other characters in the game as time goes on as in any rpg we we meet the the characters as we travel and journey where is your house well do you mean my character's house or the or the custom hero's house because there's there's an actual rose character in the game i'm in the game guys um i'm sure if you're a regular here you'd know that but um there's also a custom hero which i'm probably gonna call my custom hero rose as well i don't know what else i'd call them but you can call them anything because you're allowed to pick their gender their name their and how they look and everything your character's house well my character doesn't really live anywhere because she's a vampire who's not really accepted as part of the world she's she literally just like travels and wonders more really but she is hanging out in a building um this one here she's gonna be here that's where you're gonna find my character and we've written that part of the story now actually so we'd be curious um, it's got in the discord and you can vote on what option you like the most for where you want the story to go but yeah my character's there you can see her walking there legion's voice is so great made a sample of legion's story google doc oh i love how passionate akira is about world building and and his character it's awesome okay so uh right you know when you you've lost track of thought of what you're doing next oh yes um we were gonna get akira's character in steam steam stream avatars so what, this isn't too bad what we'd have to do is we have to make a manual layout of his character to get him working in stream avatars but it only takes about a few minutes so i'm going to use my character as a template um, and this is the layout we use for stream avatars so we need which ones do we need we need the face front one and the face in a right one and also the face in right walking one so make sure we've merged those your character's gonna be on the stream in a sec akira bet you're excited and basically how this works is if you are in the stream your character if you're a character in the game you will automatically be walking across here 
Um, and if you chat, your name will pop over your head. But if you're not, if you're just lurking, you, you'll just, your name won't be there. So, okay, that, we don't want that one, so delete. I think we need a drum roll. This is an exciting time. So, guys, we're going to have like 50 of you walking here eventually. That is, the, that is something that I, I would love to see. Whether we, we'd ever get that, I don't know, but it would be badass. Probably not until another three years, maybe when we're like on episode ten of the game. So we just need the two walking ones now and then he's done. We just have to save it and import it into stream avatars. So Lurkers can now get longer <laughs> looking at you, Rex. Yeah, I, Rex doesn't mind because he's literally here lurking 24-7 anyway. But um, I, I do, I would ideally like to have it so only people who actually have, a chat, have chatted come here. But I'm not, I'm not sure whether that is possible, even though I'd love it to be. If it was, I would have it as that. I, I need to post in the stream avatar support forum and see if there's a way to not call out lurkers. Okay, so I think that's done. Let's hide me. Merge all of these. Okay. making sure everything's in line don't want a wonky animation okay so now I just have to save it stream avatars okay so SCP five six 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 <laughs> akira one day i'll know your name off by heart without having to look there we go <laughs> busted so those little guys walking around the bottom of your screen you made those um no they're, they are like, uh, I haven't done the artwork for this. You know what? I feel like I always have to repeat myself with that. I think I've got a command for it. Oh, one sec. Because then that is a lot easier to have to explain without sounding like a broken record. Asset, exclamation mark, assets, there you go. Yeah, I made a command for it, Messi, because it was a common question. It's a very common question. Um, so that way, uh, you guys can know where the assets come from and stuff. But, um, I 
game, game development is a huge thing and art is just a small part of that in my opinion bloody hell if i had to do the art in this i'd have to give my life away to this project guys and um you know it would be it would be a very bit huge thing not having to do the art really makes it it takes the pressure off should i say um okay so done let's uh get the stream avatars open right so i'm gonna just disconnect it a sec um open folder now here is what i'm doing now this is the stream avatar oh crappy we're okay there's nothing that wasn't meant but i generally don't show my file explorer just in case but i only do that as a precaution but it's okay most of the time um okay um pam all right so Kira's avatar is in there now. Let's go back. Um, save and reload. Okay, so Kira should should have gone in there. Give me a sec, guys. I've got to check my file explorer. Might not work properly. Oh, okay. I was looking in the wrong place. He was there all along. Okay, so Akira is here now. All, all we have to do now is um, add Akira to the whitelist. Hope ready, Akira. Okay, so the only thing we have to do now, I think one more thing now, let's connect and it should be um, change SCP-506 Kira. It's just a command I have to do now. So as you can see, We've got the wrong person. And it should change to Akira's avatar now I've done this command. There we go. You there. Oh my goodness. He looks like he's going to murder us all. <laughs> Lil, he's so cute. He is. It's alive. He looks so badass that he could like tear everybody else apart. Um, he looks, he looks great. He looks awesome. I couldn't have imagined a better character for you, Akira. It's alive. Yay! Another another character in Stream Avatars. Hopefully we get more and more over time. That would be awesome. So We've done all the assets. We've got Kindle Trash is done as well. And I just want to send all the stuff to, over to her before I put it up on social media and everything. Make sure there's nothing she wants changing. Um, and now character sheet time. So I use another software for this. Can't tear me apart, I'm too strong. Chub Cheeks is here now. Look at us, look at us all. Look at the crew. How are you doing, Chub? I hope you're having a good day. I'm too much excited. I have to calm myself down. That's amazing. He looks great. So every time you're here now, um, Akira, your little legion will be walking across um, on our stream. 
And yeah, we, we're gonna get a big army of us over time. If it's only a, a small group of us at the moment, but yeah, be more and more. Is there a wiki for your world? Not the moment, Messi. Um, but eventually, as everything builds up, who knows? I, I intend to like have, a, a, it would be great to have a sort of wiki or a website where everything's on there. But we're still very early on, like very, very early on in the game. So um, it's not something we probably do until we're a bit further in. Okay, so graphics girl, this is uh, another software I've got. So Akira's a playable character, so we'll use a playable character template for him. And how much uh, has he got filled in? Let's have a peek. Okay, so about a line, a, a sentence or so for each question. So usually I generally pick a template that's similar. So we, we don't have to do as much too much editing um so let's look for a play a playable character that has a similar amount filled in Yeah, I'd say cannons is probably a good one, but let's not, let's open the gal file, not the PNG. Um, I'd say yours is probably yours is a little bit longer the description, but it's fine to just make it a bit big, bigger. It's not a problem. So we're going to use this as the template. Change the name to Akira. Okay, so we'll we'll give you a colour scheme and stuff at the end. Um, we could always do that now though, but I'm trying to think what colour scheme should we give Akira? Have you got any colours that you'd like to be Akira for, you, for your character sheet? If you don't mind, I'll pick them myself. But generally I like to pick a colour that nobody else's character sheet is yet. Um, But even if you want a colour that we've already used, I'd just use a different shade. Look at him, he's so cute, he is! He sure is. Black, grey, white and red, awesome. You know what, we haven't got a black character sheet yet, so that would be perfect. And we can have red for the text with your name. We're like Red for the highlight bits and black for the background, that would be cool. Okay, let's do that. And it'll really stand out because we haven't got a character sheet with anywhere close to that colour scheme yet. Okay, so... Maybe that? Okay, so... Okay, so well, this bit that's currently like an, an orangey colour will change to red then. See how that looks. We'll pick, we'll pick it so it, it looks nice. Maybe a, a slightly. Whoa, this is this is looking very, very cool. Okay, so we we still have to change a few colours because part of it isn't. We've still got a sort of brownish background here, so there we go. Hi, Andy Cake, how are you doing? How are you doing, Andy? I hope you're doing well. It's good to see you. Look, my character is in Legion. Yay, look, Kira's character's here, Andy. 
Isn't the red too red? Looks a bit like a vampire game. Well, I'm a vampire and Akira's a demon, so you know, we got a very versatile cast in this game, haven't we? So we're gonna have some scary characters, demons, vampires, and we're gonna have some really sweet characters as well, cute ones. Um, but we probably could change the red a tiny bit because it might be a little bit bright. So we'll just. But yeah, don't forget Kira, Kira's a demon, so this is per this character sheet's perfect for him, isn't it? Look at look at him. He looks like he he, he belongs there. <laughs> Everything's perfect. Yeah, all all the character sheets look have got their own unique colour scheme. Little red ball, like um, I'll just get another one as an example. One that has a totally different look. This one, this is another character. She's like a a fairy sort of, you know. She's very she's very pretty, nice nurse, nice turquoise wings, um, and and it's like a totally different look to. Akira's so that's an another example of a character we've got and who else do we have oh my god my tummy just rumbled like crazy and this is another one a sorcerer a bearded so sorcerer so yeah I'm, I'm giving it everyone their own like color scheme so it they stand apart from each other yay I'm a sweet half demon. Streams are Mondays. Oh, I saw now. Yeah, Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays now, Andy Cake. I've recently started streaming more again um, since in the last couple of weeks. So you get me three days in a row now. One sec, guys. And uh, I always start. Um, I started about two and a half hours ago, I think. So early morning for you guys across the pond in America and afternoon for people in Europe. I'm hungry. You know what I do when I'm hungry? It's so funny seeing special stream cannons now here. Because special stream cannons characters no, doesn't suit this colour scheme at all. But he's just the template. Afternoon for French, yeah. Okay. Right, are you ready for your name to be in here now? So let's see if we can fit Akira's name in. Special Stream Cannon is also quite a long name and that's fitted in fine, so let's see if akira's doesn't we'll we'll keep the s because akira's name begins with an s as well and we've still got the text from um kindle's character so we'll delete that right let me just hang on guys let me just get my notepad file up that has all the fonts and font sizes because that's like an easy way i can I can know what I'm doing, otherwise I'd get so confused I wouldn't know what what size everything was or what font it was. I only I only use two different fonts for this, so it's not too bad. And it's size seventy, and the pitch is one. So here we go, SCP566, fingers crossed that it all fits on Akira, Akira, there, we've done it, it fits, yeah your name's about the same length as Cannon's, so perfect, I think that'll do, I don't have too much chocolate because I don't want to spoil my dinner, just two pieces will do. Also, my eye is a little bit see-through sometimes on stream. Sometimes it's fine, but it's because my, my eyes are the same colour as my green screen. Can't be helped. <laughs> One of those things. I 
Mine's actually like more of a bluey sort of turquoise, but yeah, I have like a sort of colour, like I changed the colour settings a bit, so my green screen is actually more of a blue than a green when I do that. By the way, it's, it's SCP without the space between Akira and the... Oh, okay. Well, you've got... In your actual Twitch name, you don't have the dashes, Akira. So I'm just copying it the exact same as your Twitch name. Just so no confusion. Because, say, for example, someone looks at your character sheet and they're like, Oh, this character's cool, Akira. And they search you on Twitch, they, they won't find you if, it, if I put it in different life, you know what I mean? So I'm going to just keep it consistent with your Twitch name. Is that alright? Same as, like, with your thingy-magic, your character walking down here. He hasn't got the dashes either. So, yep. Okay. Um, uh, does Twitch allow you to have dashes? I, I, I'm guessing it doesn't, then. But yeah, everyone's name I keep as the same as their Twitch name for this. For this, okay. So that is done, and you are—you're not an elf knight. <laughs> you are—you are a human gunslinger, and I know you're a demon as well. But that will have to—that will go into more depth down here. Uh, so I'm going to delete, I'm going to keep the one letter just so we can align it correctly. Um, where's my fonts? I've lost my notepad file. Um. Sack. Where's it gone? Has it crashed? Has Notepad actually crashed? Because it's not working for some reason. There we go, it's back. So the say, Notepad crashing, that's out of the ordinary. Now I've got to make sure I spell it right, Gunslinger. Spell it right, haven't I? <laughs> Okay, so it's a little bit big. Hang on, what size? I think it's size 60 and it actually doesn't. It's a little bit, yeah, there we go. We've got to get the alignment right still, but we'll do that after. We'll do the alignment at the end. But we'll get the name in now. So, Legion. AKA Legion. So in the big letters, it's the Twitch name, and the AKA is the name of your character. Some people's characters are the same as their Twitch names, which is fine if you want to name your character after your Twitch name. Mine is called Rise Rainblood. But a lot of you, I've noticed, have different names for your characters. It doesn't allow, allow them. It's silly. I'm glad Twitch allows a lot of usernames, though. I know that um, some social media sites, you're limited to, like, 12 characters, aren't you? And that's pretty crazy, being limited to that. Yay. Okay, so let's get this aligned properly. about right don't worry I weren't gonna keep that chopped off forever yeah I, I'm weird I do things this way instead of actually getting a grid like a normal person I'm just not a fan of grids. They, 
don't like them so I just uh, I tend to just do this while it's faster for me there you go done the AK is slightly lower maybe um, the eye is touching the eye yeah we could do that so it's more in between the two there we go Or there. Yay! Okay, so that bit's done. Now let's get rid of this bit. Okay, what is, hang on, first of all, what's Legion's description? Um, copy and paste it. Now, for this, we use a different text. We use Georgia for the actual heavy text parts and Enchanted Land for the more decorative text. That's kind of our default font for Raindrop Chronicles. Right, size, size 16. There we go. So, let's see how many lines this is. We've got to change it to normally we'd say my goal is to protect the soul like i'm going to change it to first person but legion speaks um in a unique way doesn't he? he says he says we instead of i what would he say instead of my so he'd say so if we if normally it would be my goal is to Protect the souls. I want to make sure this is completely exactly how it should be, you see. Our goal. Okay, so he like talks as if you're a group rather than an individual. That's basically the easiest way to remember. Our goal is to protect the souls we collect, that goes right, from a curse village. Save the week is from curses and also trying to belong somewhere okay well i'm gonna get rid of the trying to belong somewhere bit because we're gonna have that as our goal here in the big letters anyway so um we don't need to repeat as a the goal is to protect the souls we collect from curse food save the week is from curses can we should we put and would that work need to put it on another line and center it so is that right let's make sure our goal is to protect the soul the souls we consume save the weakest and to belong somewhere short version okay but without the belong somewhere um so our goal is to protect the souls we consume and save the weakest But without the curses. How's that? Okay, so let's get rid of cannons. Okay. I'm just going to keep one random letter. So it's aligned. Um... There we go. Awesome. How's that? Our goal is to protect the souls we consume and save the weakest. So I want to know about these souls that you consume. That's what I want to know. Do you? Do you? Do you? Do you eat? Do you eat us? <laughs> are you gonna have? Are you gonna take my soul, Legion? 
You're going to take our party souls. You'll be our friends, won't you? But I'm going to read what you put in the disc because I know you put in the creative channel in the Discord and I'll have a look at all that after stream and have a proper read. <laughs> no, you're a good demon. You're a nice one, aren't you? You know, I mean one. Okay. See, in my head, I'm thinking Soul Reaver with Rose saying that we don't, we don't want to on the good people. That's great. Just evil ones then. That's great. Not everyone's going to be good that we come across, though. But what our party are. But, you know, we got a few antagonists. Like Rex, you can have his soul. Sorry, Rex. It's one of the inspirations of Legion, Soul Reaver. Oh, cool. I'm such a noob. <laughs> you guys know, no, and I don't. You'll have to teach me. Make sure I do the law properly for Legion. Okay, so Cannon's goal is something very different to Legion's. Delete that. So it's to belong somewhere is the goal, which is the same one as Rose's goal. we go and I think I center it don't I um, I'm just gonna look at mine as an example to make sure this is my character sheet guys I am like a deep pink yeah it's centered rushed in the last game but overall good okay so we have a little gap here we're going to keep that gap because that is where your little cute walking character is going to go that's where we put his assets there so we put those in in photoshop at the end and we put the avatar in on photoshop at the end as well because the reason being why we don't do it on this software is because it's actually in the the colors the colors are only I think it we're a limited color palette put it that way so if we put in your um face set your avatar it would like literally be limited color so um but that's it's good to it's much easier to have limited color for this because it, we can like you say you, you can easily change the color scheme otherwise we would have had to have like done every change the colors individually and it would have took forever um so okay so now we're gonna fill in your your little personality thingy magic so i'm gonna just make a note of what you are with that in notepad so i don't have to have it open keep opening it up so you can't um you're optimistic honest spontaneous cautious open minded reserved and traditional it's cool to have a traditional character because a lot of them are rebellious that we have in our party so it's nice to have someone who's different okay so we can keep calm and optimistic and honest and spontaneous um get rid of reckless because you're not reckless open-minded yes and reserve okay so uh, just those three we need to change but for quickness I'm going to just open a character sheet and copy and paste someone else who's already got those traits 
I think everybody's rebellious. <laughs> but we I'm sure we have another traditional. Okay, Sigurd is traditional. So we can copy his character sheet. And I'm copying spontaneous as well because I can just overlap it and get it in place. Um, reserved and bold is sick those. No, he's talkative and reckless. I mean, reserved and cautious is the opposite. So, who who's reserved? Who is reserved and cautious then? Chub cheeks. Chub cheeks is reserved, and he's traditional. I should have copied him. See, this is what I'm lazy. <laughs> I'm lazy. I'm just copying person instead of writing it in again. It's mainly because so I can align it properly because aligning can be a pain and very time consuming. So I always find I can get it done quicker if I do that. So cautious. I know I'm cautious. Rose is cautious. So those are all your traits and I'm going to double check, I have to double check because you know sometimes can make a mistake. Calm, optimistic, honest, spontaneous, um, cautious, open, minded, reserved and traditional, done. Now it's this bit, mm. we're going to get it done before stream are we? Are we actually going to get the character sheet done before, stream, before the end of stream? Maybe we will. Right, time for me to get going. Pleasure as always, Rose. Speak tomorrow, everyone. Ah, thanks for hanging out. Pleasure to have you here. And have an awesome day. And we are coming towards the end of the stream anyway. Hope the rest of your evening goes amazing. He's a gentleman after all, but don't piss him off. You're going to have a bad day. Yeah, he's a gent, but he has no mess in. He's a badass gentleman. That's what he is. I'm starting to get to know him a bit better now, Akira. He's, he was, he's a very mysterious figure, like, from reading his character sheet. So I was like, I was thinking, okay, I wonder if, if he's a kind demon or, a, like, I was had a lot of questions, but he's clearly a, a good person. My own choir, uh, the background music origins. Oh, Richard, it is a Final Fantasy playlist on YouTube. An, a nine-hour one. I usually always just have in the background on stream. I'm going to put the link in. Um, I'm 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 going to change because we've been we've had this music for a while, and I'm going to change it to um, Final Fantasy XIV playlist tomorrow, my own, just because I am friggin' obsessed with that soundtrack. Okay, so. But this particular track, oh my god, what one would it be? Because it's 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 very like we're kind of we're two hours and fifty nine minutes through. So <laughs> I heard some music earlier from Final Fantasy fourteen, or so I thought. Yeah, there's a few Final Fantasy fourteen tracks on this playlist as well. Okay, so now the rest of Akira's sheet is. What is your biggest flaw? Okay. Is that the first question? It is. <laughs> Being a womanizer. Now that's canon, not a Kira. Um. Now we'll probably need two lines for this one. 
which is fine we'll just get it in and make it look messy for now and we'll tidy it up later okay so a little knowledge hunger but still controllable not social okay so We could have this word for word, probably. Um, one sec. I'm going to get rid of that A. because I, I, I kept that A there originally because I wanted it there so I could align, align it, but who cares. It's getting in the way. So I'm better not being there. Oh no. There you go. I'm done streaming now because I'm tired and I'm back here now. Yay! Welcome back, Kermit. I, I'm ending soon too. <laughs> and I wanted to finish a care sheet before the end of the stream, but because we're there's gonna be a alignment to sort out and we've got to still add his avatar and his character, it's probably gonna take longer than ten minutes. But I'm going to finish it for tomorrow's stream. I'll show it. First thing tomorrow, Akira, I'll um, be showing it. But it's it's basically done anyway. All we got to do is fill out your last questions and add your avatar and walk in Sprite to the sheet. And um, so, yay. Now I'll, I'll show you that tomorrow. And then we're updated with the character sheets, guys. I've um, got to just tweet them and put them up on Discord, the links of them. And um, also on our Google Docs as well. And then we're updated. I know that Kung has, is, is planning on doing a character soon. But whenever she wants to, there's no rush. She can do it this week. She can do it in a month. She can do it whenever. Hi, Geeky Girl. Oh, my goodness. How are you doing, Geeky Girl? Are you having a good day? I hope you are. It's good to see you. It will all be clear when you're going to read his story. After that, if you still have questions about him, you can PM me on Discord for it. Awesome, Akira. And I wonder when he'll make his appearance in the story. Like, this whole story in this game is all improvised. Um, so, basically, it's whenever we, some one of us introduces him. Either myself when I write the main story or one of you guys when you continue it and... And, and give the option to introduce him so um, eventually we'll be writing um, chapter one part three once um, we know what chapter one part two is going to be if you want to see chapter one part two then the, it's on discord um, you're welcome to vote for your favorite or even oh i haven't even opened the bot so I can't, <laughs> there's been no submissions today um but i can always open it tomorrow completely forgot about the bot silly me when is this being released oh we're releasing it as episodes kermit rather than a full game so um reason for that is so there is something out there to play as soon as possible for you guys and so you can get excited i think people could, are going to get more excited if there's a, a new episode to look forward to rather than potentially have to wait forever for a full game that could be quite overwhelming so um yeah we are having episode releases for the, for this game um episode one we're still very early on doing episode one at the moment um potentially potentially end of end of 2019 or early 2020 i'd say if for an episode one release it's it's very difficult to judge at this point because we've still only done the first dungeon we haven't completed the first dungeon yet but we've we've done the mapping for it almost and but there's still a lot of work to do and i want episode one to at least be a few hours play time and um it will probably i would ideally like two or three dungeons in episode one not just everbloom forest so you know i mean this i want more content I want a few hours play time but we'll see see how it goes skipping my class oh my goodness the rebel geeky guy the rebel well are there any episodes released now nope very new project Carmet. it's um it's it's something an idea i've had for a while 
and um, I only I only uh, started doing it on stream this spring, and I had I had a few months off as well. So um, started it in April May I think, and I was I was away June, and I wasn't really streaming much in July and August. I only came back last month to streaming, so still very early day, very new project, but um, it's it's fun. It's good that it's new. It gives you a chance to, to get into it, I guess. Don't skip because it's going to backfire. Geeky girl will do awesome. I know, so. She's good. She's good most of the time. Okay, so we're going to have to split this on two lines. Might... This is left aligned as well. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna have to put a bit of a gap because, uh, but we'll do that at the end. Get all the text in first before we sort out the gap in and spacing. What's GPA? What is GPA? Grade point average. I can skip up to five and I'm only skipping today to get some classwork done. Oh, I'm very clueless on what that is. It's probably, I'm assuming it's very different in America to what it is in, in the UK. Yeah, probably. I bet it's all, I bet it's awesome though, isn't it, Geeky Go? I bet it's like the best grade possible. Perfect hundred in all classes. See, she's a genius. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> Sweet did you ask me. Yeah, don't worry, Kermit. I'm confused too. Because our grading system is very different in the UK as well. Okay, so what has Akira got? Yeah, light magic is a big affair. That's just all, all on one line. I'm just going to delete what can put. We'll get all this in before we end stream, but I'm going to have to tidy it up off stream. Um, the tidying up bit is the bit that takes the time a lot of the time, but there's not much. Just might have to make the character sheet a few pixels longer so we can, so we can uh, fit it all on. Okay, so hang on a minute. Being forced. I think you mean forced and kill, kill without. Yes, is that right? Was that a typo, Akira? I just want to make sure um, I'm understanding it. Being forced to kill the cursed village to be able to save them instead of using a cure. You know when you say save them, that's what I'm curious about as well. Would it... Is it fine to leave it just like that or, or have it in like sort of Rose, you know Yeah I do geeky goat. I do for sure. I go to her stream sometimes and she was she hosted me last week as well. I think it was last week. What game engine is this? Yeah, it's RPG Maker MD. Where in England do you live? Um, at the centre. Um, West Midlands. Freedom from the cure would fit better. Okay. Um, being for which part of that should I put it in the hole? Hang on. Being forced to kill the curse village to be able to save them instead of using a cure. Um, 
where should I put that Akira which bit do you want me to delete and replace with that do you happen to know where she changed her name I think from what I'm aware she wanted something that was more fantasy sounding um like because that's kind of the games that she likes fantasy games and and stuff but you'd have to ask her yourself to know the answer to that but that's that is from what I I think the reason was yeah replace save by a three okay Be able to kill the cursed village to be able to free them instead of using a cure. Okay. So I'm trying to understand it and I'm sure if I knew the backstory I would. But I'm more concerned about um, the community that read this. I want them to be able to understand it too. Um, so... Because the cursed village is a mystery, if you know what I mean. Like, the cursed village, what is the cursed village? But, um, obviously, we might find out more about that in time. Which is fine. It's fine if you want to keep things mysterious. But, yeah. You want the village name? Um, yeah, if you want to go in more detail, that's fine too. Just because I, I don't want people who are reading the character sheet to be totally confused either. Do you know what I mean? Um, so... Village of Dark Woods. Okay. Be being forced to kill the the village. Okay, so let's see if that works. If I replace it, the village. Have we talked about the curse? No, we haven't talked about it up here. Um, I just think the, I feel like the sentence needs rearranging a bit, or splitting into two, just to make it, just so I can get it more. Um. But yeah, it's cool it to be, to have a village name because it's it's interesting to have a bit of lore built. Kindle did that on her character sheet, and um, it just gives an idea for a future dungeon and a future uh, village as well. And it's it it's it's uh, it inspires some ideas. Okay, so. Hang on, let me get my head around. It's being forced to kill the village of Darkwoods. Do you mean the people in the village of the Darkwoods or kill the actual village itself? So I just think, I think that just needs clarifying. England is one hour behind Sweden, right? 16 o'clock. Yes, it's, we, we're now 6pm here. I assume it's 7pm for you. Being forced to kill the whole village of the Darkwoods to free them from their curse instead of using the cures. Yeah, that I think that wording sounds um, ideal, Akira. Thank you, Geeky Goat. You are so kind. Um, being forced to kill the whole village. Yeah, that makes more sense now because I think what I was confused about was kill what? The village or the people? But now that makes sense. Um... Because that now, now we know just from that that it, you mean the actual people living there. Um, dark woods, though. That's really interesting. We we're having like a, a dark sort of wooded. Because the Everbloom Forest is a very pretty summery um, forest, and this would be the opposite of that. I assume from the name, I assume that anyway. But who knows? It might be totally different. Um, the dark woods to free them from their curse instead of using the cure. Okay. Well, I know that you, I mean, you have an entire backstory for this character and um, eventually I, I, I'll probably understand him and I want the community to as well. But when he gets introduced to the story, 
we can we can work on that um, being forced to kill the whole village of, of dark woods to free them from their curse instead of using a cure okay Okay, I feel like having and instead of two might work better there. Let's just say, let's make sure. Being forced to kill the whole village of dark woods and free them from their curse instead of using a kill. Okay, I feel, I think that works. I feel like that could work. Do you have any animals in the game? We have um, beast races, if that counts as animals. We have like actual dog and cat, full on furry, like humanoids that are animals. <laughs> so I think that they're, they're kind of, I guess, but as for actual animals, I don't think we have yet, have we? Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I've forgotten an animal that we do have. But they're well big. I'm sure there's going to be plenty of animals in the game. Okay, let me, let me, und okay. What is your deepest, darkest secret? Hang on a minute. I'm... So he's actually done this. Legion has actually, he's actually killed the, the villagers of the dark woods. Because I actually misunderstood. I thought that was his biggest fear. And that now I've just realised it's his deepest, darkest secret. So he, that means he has actually done it. Am I correct? I just want to understand it. It's important I understand it. Hi, Living on Edge. How are you doing? It's good to see you. I hope you're well. Hope you're having a good start to your week. Maybe you have to. Oops. I'm making a right noise here. Do you plan on adding more? I think that, that those current races we've got in on the actual character forms are going to be the the one the ones we're going to have because I, I don't think there's any other assets for any more but who knows who knows what what the, um, what i might find online i might think actually i'm not add this race into the game but um yeah it's hard to set because it, it's all improvised so I'm, everything's gonna we're gonna be adding things as we go along all the time with this for sure to make to make multiply this someone led led to him by random wandering inside a village or inside the village of dark woods the 500 cells are from the village of dark woods okay kira um i'm just now i'm not satisfied with how that sentence is now especially because it's his deepest darkest secret i feel like we need to word it so it now it sounds like he's actually done it because the way it's worded it makes it sound like um it's his fear not something he's already done if you know what i'm trying to say i hope i'm not being confusing lots and lots of school stuff and i don't have a pc that works yet so i haven't been able to twitch too much but i found some free time this afternoon to come by well it's always good to see you wedge it's always a joy to have you in chat even though i'm i should have ended stream ages ago well not ages ago it's 10 past six now so i do have to go soon i don't want to but i do have to well just get rid of being forced to okay Okay, so it does have, we have to do word in past tense for sure, though, just because it's something he's already done. It's his, it's his biggest secret. So. Yeah, I'm trying to figure this out. So he's actually killed the whole village. He's done this. I'm just confused. I'm very confused right now. I'm so sorry. I'm just trying to get my head around it all. Um. He have done it, yeah, okay, so, I think if I understood the story more, it would work, I could do this, but obviously I've still got to understand it. Um, the real geeky go, yeah, 
Ikugo and Edge here at the same time. Okay, I'm gonna just leave it as that for now. Um, what 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 it originally was. Um, but I'm gonna have a look at it off stream, and hopefully the the sheet will be done tomorrow for tomorrow's stream for sure, because we're we're very close to the end now. We're on the last couple of things, and we've got to just add the avatars in then. Um, so we have we've we've done it, um, and then tomorrow will be a mapping stream. So I'm I'm gonna head off now, guys. I've got to rush off because I was meant to end um, ten minutes ago, and I didn't. So have to head off fast because dinner's nearly ready i want to i want to try i want to hose more though in the future drop us all off at somebody else's stream and stuff because we haven't been doing that enough lately because i've been brushing off a lot but we will try and start hosting peeps again um in the future in the very near future okay take care guys thanks for hanging out Bye bye